Wordstream.com offers a free keyword tool, but this is really just a free preview tool they use to draw you into their website. Several of my clients have successfully used Wordstream.com to expand their ad agency. So they're just a sole proprietor business, one person. They're building ads for various people, but then it begins to get too busy. You get too many clients, you can either hire an external person, bring somebody into your office, maybe hire somebody abroad on Upwork, but they've actually used Wordstream to expand their agency by making everything more efficient. One of their more cool software features is the 20 minute pay per click. So it's like their AI streamlined Google AdWords tester. So if you're a Google AdWords agency, you can streamline your campaigns and testing with their software. So make sure to check out all their software, especially if you have a growing marketing agency and you're looking to expand your team. This help with Google AdWords campaign, I've heard a lot of good things about, as well as their expanding Facebook agency. But as for free keyword tools, wordstream.com slash keywords, you can get 30 free searches. So another nice resource for that seed keyword generation. So for this first example, I'll leave both these unchecked. Get keyword ideas. As you can see, they're pulling from Google search volume and here are our keywords. Again, in the free version, they don't show you the competition, the actual search volume. I only use this tool for seed keyword idea creation. Maybe I'm stumped on how to expand a keyword. I'll come to this and just input my keyword and see if I get anything different from all the other varying sites. But just click back and I want to show you this nicheify keyword results. This is the actual feature I care about most with this free keyword tool. So as you can see, the niche category or column here has been added. I like to use these niche suggestions, sometimes as seed keyword additions or as my possible blog post categories. Remember, as you create blog posts, it's better to put them in silos rather than one generic category, online courses. Put them in their specific blog post category. So we scroll down through here. Here's a good example, tech. So I have online courses in marketing, I have online courses in tech, I have online courses in investing. So those are my three varying categories or niches, which nicely identify or categorize your blog posts and provide a keyword to further narrow and silo your blog post content. 